Sacramento Kings. What an underachievement season. Just the previous year, you guys finished third in the West. You guys went to the playoffs. You pushed the Golden State Warriors, the defending champ Golden State Warriors, to seven games before Steph Curry went crazy and scored 50 something points on it all. Everybody in Sacramento, they thought the future was promising until this year happened. Oh, yes, they did finish 46 and 36 on to the season, but they also finished in ninth place. That is actually crazy to think about. You finished in ninth place and you 46 and 36. Well, in their game against Golden State, in the playing game, I should say more and after, it was light the beam, put the Warriors to sleep. What happened on Friday night? Other dominance by the Pelicans. The Pelicans without Zion. You know, I think sometimes the Pelicans play better without Zion. What an absolute disgrace. But for all the ones that kept saying it, the Kings defense was, you know, garbage and everything. Because I kept hearing that the whole entire season. The defensive rating was 115.2. 14th out of 30 in the league. So, it wasn't that bad. But at times, it was sleep at defense. But I know what the problem with the Kings if you watched them close. There's too much one-on-one -on -one ball going on with De'Aaron Fox. And with Malik Monk when he was playing. The future still looks bright for this team. Everybody's on the contract, pretty much, except for Malik Monk, who's an unrestricted free agent. We see how that goes. I think they got the coach also with Mike Brown. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, he can get that defense to top 10. As they always say, if your defense is top 10, you definitely are a finals made team. But also for Golden State. But also for Sacramento Kings. Uh. Get that offensive rating of 213 and all that one-on-one -on -one ball ain't gonna win anything either.